a warm welcome to my channel Anglopedia. Children, today we are going to do Merchant of Venice Act 4, Scene 1, Part 2. It is the continuation of the previous class. Today we are going to do from uh, the page 115, Duke. How shall thou hope for mercy, rendering none? So Duke is asking Shiloh that how can you hope for God's mercy when you show to none? Shiloh, what judgment shall I dread doing no wrong? Then Shiloh says that if I have not done anything wrong then why sh shall i be afraid of god's mercy of the god's judgment you have among you many a purchased slave which like your asses and your dogs and mules you use in abject and in slavery parts then he started giving the example that you have so many slaves and you make them do the work like the asses, like the dogs and the mules. And they do all kind of mean work for you because you bought them. When it is asked to you, you say, they are my slave, I have bought them. Shall I say to you, if I say same thing to you, that a pound of flesh is bought by me? If I say, let them be free, marry them to your ears, why swear they are under burdens? If I ask you, please make your slaves free and get them married to your children, those who are going to be your ears, who will be going to be, take the place after you. If I ask them, let them get married to your children, your slaves. Why sweat they under burdens? Why do you make them work like a mules, like dogs, like asses? They are sweating. Make them free. Let their beds be made as soft as yours and let their pallets be seasoned with such beards. Give them the soft bed as you are using. Give them such delicacies as you are eating. You will answer the slaves are ours. What will be your answer if I ask all this to you? They are our slaves. We have bought them. We can make them do any work or treat them in any way we like. So do I answer you. The pound of flesh which I demand of him is dearly bought. It is mine and I will have it. So when you say that the slaves are bought by you so you can make them do any work. You can treat them in any way. If I answer you the same thing, that pound of flesh I bought and I have spent 3,000 decades and made Antonio sign for it. So that pound of flesh is mine. So I need it. It's dearly bought, it's mine and I will have it. If you deny me, fie upon your law. And if you refuse to give me the justice to have that pound of flesh, shame on your laws. There is no force in the decrees of Venice. I stand for judgment. There is no validity of the law of Venice if you refuse to give me. Shame on your law. So I need the judgment. Answer me. Shall I have it? Will I get the judgment from you? Do you upon my power, I may dismiss this court. Unless Valerio, a learned doctor whom I have sent for to determine this, come here today. Then the Duke says that I have the power of 
dismissing the cold unless belerio a wise doctor of law come here i have called him today until he comes i have the power to dismiss the cold <clears throat> salerio my lord here stays without here he is waiting outside a messenger with letters from the doctor new come from padua he says the sir salerio says a messenger has come from padua from dr belerio from Bale padua a messenger has come do you bring us the letters call the messenger okay call the messenger and bring the letter that he has brought besanio good cheer antonio what man courage yet now besanio want to encourage because he understood antonio is slowly becoming depressed so he is saying be cheerful antonio antonio be courageous now why are you afraid the jew shall have my flesh blood bones and all before thou shall lose for me one drop of blood the jew will take my flesh my blood my bone before he takes a drop of blood from me antonio i am attainted whether of the flock meat is for death the weakest kind of fruit then he says i am a diseased member or i am a stained member of the flock of the ship fit for the death the weakest kind of fruit the weakest fruit hanging from the tree which falls first drops earliest to the ground and so let me so i am also like that let me be finished you cannot better be employed basanio than to live still and write mind epita you can be given a good job you live and write the epita on my door you have to leave for that enter nerissa dressed like a lawyer's clerk you Come you from Padua, from Belerio? Are you coming from Padua, from Doctor Belerio? Nerissa, from both, my lord. Belerio greets your greets. Yes, from both, from Padua and from Belerio. He has sent his greetings to you. Present a letter, Basanio. Why dost thou wet thy knife so earnestly? Then Basanio asking Shiloh, Why are you sharpening? your knife so eagerly shylock to cut the for future from the bankrupt there to cut the for future the pound of flesh from that bankrupt that is antonio grasanio not on thy soul but on thy soul harsh jew here grasanio is using a pun he is saying not on thy soul you are not sharpening your knife on the soul that is the soul of the soul but on thy soul on your soul which is full of revenge and hatred for antonio thou make is thy knife keen you are sharpening your knife but no metal can no not the hangman's axe bear half the keenness of thy sharp envy your soul your heart is full of revenge full of cruelness even the uh, hangman's axe is also not so sharp as your soul is full of anger hatred revenge can no prayers pierce the can no prayer melt your heart child of no none that thou has wit enough to me no no prayers which has the intelligence can make my heart soft 
Graziano. Oh, be thou damned. You are cursed. Inexcrable dog. You are a relentless dog on whom shame, curse doesn't work. You are such kind of dog. And for thy life, let justice be accused. And if you leave, let the law be ashamed if you are still alive. I don't know how the law is allowing you to leave. Thou almost makest me waver in my faith to hold opinion with Pythagoras. You are making me doubt my belief and I have to go, I have to believe Pythagoras theory. What is Pythagoras theory? That souls of animals infuse themselves into the trunks of men. What Pythagoras said? That the souls of animals enter themselves into the bodies of men. When? When do they enter? Thy curry spirit governed a wolf who hang for human slaughter even from the gallows did his fell soul flee. Why he said that? Because you have that doggy spirit. That's why I believe that a animal's soul entered into the human's born body. Why? When do they enter? When a wolf is going to be, is taken to the gallows. From there his soul came out and entered into your body when you are in your unholy mother's womb. For thy desires are wolfish. Do you know why I said this? Because your wishes, your desires, just like the wolf, bloody, you are bloodthirsty man, starved and ravenous. You are hungry and greedy. Shylock, till thou canst rail the sea from off my bond, thou but offendest thy lungs. So Shylock is also not less. He is saying, still you cannot destroy, until you destroy the legality from my bond, simply you are shouting and giving pain to your lungs. Why are you shouting that? Until and unless you destroy the legality from the bond. Repair thy wit. Try to be intelligent. Repair thy wit. Make you make yourself more sensitive. Good youth or it will fall to cureless ruin. You are a young man of wit. If you are not going to bring a change in your wit, you will be a permanently mad fellow. I stand here for law. I need the justice. Duke, this letter from Valerio doth commend a young and learned doctor to our court. The Valerio, who was a great lawyer, he has sent a letter that a young doctor has come to our court. From Valerio he has come. Where is he? Where is that man? Nerissa, he attained here and why? is present nearby to know your answer he want to know will you allow him to come to the court whether you will admit him will you allow him inside the court you with all my heart yeah most willingly some three or four of you go give him courteous conduct to this place Mencha and the court shall hear Valerius letter okay three or four of you Please escort him, accompany him very politely inside the court. By the time we will hear the letter. Clerk, the letter from Valerio, the clerk is reading. Reads, your grace shall understand that at the receipt of your letter, 
I am very sick. So Valerio is writing, when he received the Duke's letter, at that time he was very sick. When your messenger came with your letter to me, I was very sick. In loving visitation was with me a young doctor of Rome. His name is Balthazar. So at that time, one of my loving friends came to give a friendly visit to me, whose name is Balthazar. I acquainted him with the cause in controversy between the Jew and Antonio the merchant. I told him the whole case, the dispute between Antonio and the merchant. We turned over many books together. We referred many books. He is furnished with my opinion, which better with his own learning. He knows what is my opinion about the case. As a, and he has made it better with his knowledge. The greatness whereof I cannot enough comment comes with him at my importunity to fill up your grace's request in my state. I can't fully explain how praiseworthy that my friend is. When he goes there, you will come to know. I have requested him in my place as you told me to go. I could not reach there because of my sickness. When he goes there, you will come to know about him. And is really a praiseworthy fellow. I requested him to take my place. I beseech you, let his lack of years be no impediment to let him lack a reverent estimation. One request I have to you, you, don't see his age. Very young fellow is. And his age should not be a bar in his judgment. For I never knew so young a body with so old a head. I did not know that such a young age. But what an experienced person he is. I leave him to your gracious acceptance. I leave him for your generous acceptance to him in the book. Whose trial shall better publish his commendation. Whose ability in these case will make you happy and you will praise him more. You, you hear the learned Bellerio, what he writes? Have you all heard what Bellerio said, what he writes? And here I take it, is the doctor come? I accept it. Has that doctor come? Has that lawyer come here? Enter Portia, dressed like a doctor of law. Give me your hand, shaking hand both of them, Duke and Portia. Come you from old Valerio. Did you come from Valerio? Portia, I did my lord. Duke, you are welcome. Take your place. You are most welcome here. Please take your place. Are you acquainted with the difference that holds the present question in the court? Do you know what is the dispute between the Jew and Antonio? The problem that is going on in the court? So, thank you children, today up to here. If you like it, please go through the uh, uh, video and accept it.